Hey, it's Kathleen here. Hi there. Today we're here to review the INNX um, cargo carrier. It's for animals, it's for dogs, cats, uh, grocery shopping. Um, yeah, because who hasn't had that broken bottle that falls out? I it know we've all the had it. And the onion falls out of the bag and rolls underneath. And rots, and you find it six months later. Or the bottle of soda. Yes. Or the bottle of beer. Yep. Or the bottle of wine. Everything. So, we are going to review this today. We're going to see how easy it is to put in and show you what it looks like. And from what I've read, this is a microfiber cargo liner that will work. This is right out of the box. Um, in between the front seat and back seat of any SUV. Um, I happen to have a Toyota SUV here for wheel drive. And I do have a back seat. He's got a back seat. And I do have stuff on the floor, so yes. never mind. It doesn't matter. Anyway, yeah. we are going to unroll this. And so far, it looks to be of really good quality. It did say it was waterproof too, so if you are if you do use it for pets, or if something explodes in your groceries, um, it's not going to get on your seats. Yes, exactly. So, what I get from this so far? Okay, first, were there instructions? There were not. Okay, there were not instructions. So we're we're doing this by the seat of our pants, but we're experienced. Literally, so, by the seat of our pants. Yes. <laughs> so, I think what we're going to do to start... There's a zipper in the middle. Yep. Okay. I believe it goes like this. Yep. Don't mind me. I'm just getting in here. Let's see how easy this is. And I'm going to open up the other door. And I believe the These simple lock. is going right around. These things lock. The headrests. The headrests lock, and you can actually um, adjust the size. It's it's this type of lock. It's plastic, but that's okay. And as you can see. And then this would go around the back headrest. Yeah. And you, you should actually unlock those and clip them. And that's you can. Okay. There's a clip right here. Yep. Yeah. See? And you can adjust that. See how it's adjustable? It is adjustable. Okay. So there's one side. And look at there's There is a little breathing room. So there, some wet stuff might fall out, come out. Hello. But no. Oh. Hi. Here we go. Okay, let me switch. Okay, so now we're in the second stage. And then this one here would go around this headrest. Okay, and I was I was always told that the the tag goes in the back and the tag is in the back. The tag is in the back. Okay. So then you straighten all this out. It looks like it needs to be tightened up. And it probably does. And the adjustments for this are right here. Okay, yep. Okay, they're right there. Yep. Against so they the header. Are so adjustable. Okay. We want to get it tight. Okay. And in the picture it showed the sides being supported. Now this side automatically Came. So we'll push it. There was no. This side comes. There's no. You can't let it down. But this side is open. And it does have two zippers. It has. Okay, it's got. Here's the corner. Here's, we're not sure. Because there were no instructions, so we might actually have this on backwards. But we're gonna. Okay, so hey, you know what? Let's see what happens. Let's tighten that up a little bit. 
Okay, don't. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Yep, we're gonna pull some. Yep. Okay. So this makes kind of like a tub. Okay, so. In the back of your vehicle. The other two need to be. This one needs to be straightened out, as does that. And I actually think we might... It's hard to tell if we have it on backwards or not. Well, we might there's have a it zipper, on backwards. Although, yeah, but there's a zipper on this side, which if you were get it going for your pet, I would assume you'd want the zipper to go through... This way. The front. Yeah, I'm in the front seats. So I'm thinking the zipper goes this way. But there's also a zipper back here. Okay? Okay. So the first thing I have to say is instructions would certainly be more helpful um, in time savings. Hey, you know what, honey? What? I just realized we actually have this on upside down. Can you believe it? Oh, no, maybe we don't. I don't know. We Actually, now that I think of it, I looked at the picture, and the quilted side is the side you can see once that is up, I believe. I honestly don't know, but go ahead. Start over. No, no, just keep going. Okay, so, if in fact this is upside down, again, instructions are helpful. Okay, we need to tighten that so we can kind of get a good look. Well, all right. Well, here's a. It's not going to tighten that much. I, so. All right. Let's let's flip it around. Well, these these come off. These these unsnap. That one unsnaps. My poor honey. He's so good. All right, let's see if we can make some more sense out of this. Again, instructions would be very helpful. Yeah, up, oh, Jesus. Sorry. Sorry, I said that one. Wasn't taking it, anything. Okay, so we're gonna give this, this a shot again. Go like this. Okay. We have experience with this company, and they were kind enough to send this out for us to review um, and their products are good I'm just really surprised there was no instruction manual because the last item I received I just unlocked that here we go I know I'm all over the place folks I apologize because we're doing this as a team now let me see if I can tighten this up Okay. Tighten, tighten, tighten. Oh, well, that makes more sense. Okay. Yes. And these are for seat belts, I believe. Oh, okay. Yes. We have it incorrectly. So and guess that what, folks? does make sense. It's for seat belts. Okay. Guess what, folks? We had it on backwards. We had it on backwards. Again, Again. the importance of instructions. Instructions. Okay, so this side, this side actually, if you wanted and to. And this has a strap as well on this side. There's a strap on this side, which if you're fortunate enough to still have those hooks, hooks, to strap it to, you can strap it to, or you can finagle something to strap or, it up. Or, these could simply be, pull it right out of your truck. If you need to. If you need to. But, um, I believe they're to keep the sides up. Okay. So let's flip those over the back, because that seems to, if you flip them over the back, the weight is on the back, and it won't lean forward. So wow, that is a like that is a much better fit. Let me get outside. And here's the seat belts. There's the seat belts. 
which I can't find the other one, but okay. it's there. It's there. We know it's there. And you see that one? Okay, let's get out. Oh. Okay, so check this out. And that unzips. So you let your pad out. You let your pad out, or you get your groceries out. That comes down like that. Same with this side, and the same thing for the other side. It's no, the other, yeah, the other side has a zipper. It's nice and quilted. It's not like a heavy quilt, but if your animal is just traveling a short distance, which is usually to the vets, um, and here is the zipper for the front, so you can reach through the back. And not this there. will also keep the dog hair, cat hair, whatever, off of your upholstery. If yes. You have fabric upholstery or even leather you just pull this whole unit out or if you're like and me, hose it off because it's waterproof well the other thing too is sometimes people carry extra clothes with them and throw them in the back like your workout outfit and the last thing you want is dog hair what have, dog hair <laughs> have you ever gone to the grocery store and bought more than you thought you were gonna buy oh BJ's Thanks, this BJ's. Acts like a big tub that keeps everything contained. Yep. So you can shop. That is one big, big, big shopping bag. There you go. And it seems to be of good quality. Um, it's, I am impressed. It's other the, than the fact that it there were. The, it was just there were no instructions. We had it on backwards. I believe we have it on the right way because it makes sense because the quilting should go there for the dog. Um, we now know what those are. We figured that out and that makes total sense. Um, so now we have, um, we don't have a dog. We have friends that have dogs. So now we can, if they want to come over, we can get their dog or more than we'll use this food shopping um, because way too many times there's been glass bottles that are broken. It just happens, and if, I know you've all had it happen to you, so... If you're uh, going camping, you can throw a couple of three or four bundles of wood in there. Anything. It's just... Anything. It's, it's like a cargo holder. So, INNX, thank you for sending such a quality product out. We enjoyed putting this on. Um, we were a little disappointed that there were no instructions, but the video clearly shows how to put this together. Um, and it's actually very easy and we were, it was pretty easy to figure out between the two of us as you saw. So, hey, thanks INNX. Um, we have a new cargo holder and a new place for our friends' pets. Thanks. Awesome.